Hello everyone, it is Aurora Sims and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time ever clicking on one of my videos for part number one of the Sims 3 Generations slash Season. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So, um, it, just FYI, if you've seen one of my videos before and you're like, girl, what the heck is wrong with your voice? Why do you sound like Kermit the Frog? Why do you sound like Shakira, okay? I, I have an explanation, okay? I really do. By the way, I love Shakira, so no shade. Anyways, um... The reason I sound like this is because I've had a sore throat since yesterday, and yesterday I sounded a lot worse. I was coughing a lot more, literally coughed through every single sentence, but I just want to let you guys know that's what's going on. So this episode might not be 100% A1, but I'm going to try my best. It's it's going to be okay. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. It's going to get better in part two because obviously, hopefully, I won't be having a sore throat. Yesterday, I legitimately sounded like a man. It was lo a lot worse yesterday a lot worse my boyfriend I called him and I was like hey babe and he was like who is this kid you not and I was like it's your girlfriend huh duh and he was like no it's not <laughs> very funny it was very mean though it was very mean I should make him go bring me some food now because he thought I was a dude anyways so um back to the nitty-gritty I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to the characters and then we are gonna go ahead and get straight on into the gameplay because I can't talk for too long or I'm gonna start coughing and nobody wants to hear that so yeah this is Clarissa McLean and she is the mommy she's going to be our our breadwinner if you will and I'm really excited to see the kids their kids because they're gonna be freaking fabulous like do you see this girl do you see how amazing she is like her kids are going to be flawless, okay? Just just flawless. Anyways, so her traits are she is family-oriented, she's a light sleeper, she loves the cold, she is neat, and she is also nurturing, which is awesome. So I wanted to give her at least one bad trait. I like to give my sims at least one bad trait, and the light sleeper was her bad trait, so... And also her wish, her lifetime wish is to be surrounded by family, of course. She wants to raise five children from babies to teenagers, and uh, we've all seen this before. We all know what this looks like. I'm not going to go into a whole explanation of her lifetime witch because we've already seen it already. Okay, so her favorite color is violet. Her favorite music is classical. And her favorite food is fruit parfait. And she is a Scorpio. So that's a little bit about Clarissa. Let's go ahead and get into her, her man, if you will. Her daddy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is Marcus Cole. And uh, obviously he is going to be the man of the house, which is really, really exciting. He is athletic. He is brave. He is frugal, which means he's a little bit of a cheapskate, which is his bad trait. As I said, one bad trait for all of them. He loves the heat and he is a vehicle enthusiast. And then he wants to be a firefighter superhero to save 30 Sims lives on the job in the firefighter profession. So obviously he's going to be a firefighter if you didn't already figure that out. And uh, his favorite color is turquoise, his favorite music is R&B, and his favorite food is hamburgers. I'm not going to show you guys what he sounds like because no one cares. And he is an Aquarius, okay? Yes, yes, slay in the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and go straight on into the gameplay because I'm ready to play. I know you guys are, and if I keep talking, I'm going to cough again. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, so we are in the beautiful, beautiful town of Salmon Woods. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited. I can't even, I can't even explain, like, really excited. Okay, so I love Salmon Woods because there is a lot of empty space, and this is like the perfect, perfect place to raise a family. By the way, I literally just had a cough fest while I was waiting for everything to load. Ah, so if I start coughing in this video, I do apologize. I'm really sorry, you guys. I feel so bad. Like, you guys are probably like, this is the worst first episode I have ever seen in my entire life, and I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm sorry, okay? I can't help it. Um, but anyways, so we're going to go ahead and look for them a house because I do want a house. I kind of want a pet as well, so I'm going to look for a house with a lot of backyard space. That is my goal. I don't really like these houses because these are two-story, and I'm not a big fan of two-story houses when I first start out. Uh, let's see uh, these houses. Okay, a sparsely furnished house with a back patio, a carport, and two bedrooms, and a full bath. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. I kind of want to preview it. 
I'm just going to preview about two lots so you guys aren't just sitting here. Um, I don't like that at all, actually. Okay, let's go over here and see. There is one house that I really love, and I think it's, uh, it's not this one. I think it is this one. Yeah, one bedroom, a full bath. It has a private back patio and a basement. Yes, perfect. We are going to get this one here. And we're going to get it furnished. I freaking love this house. Like, I'm obsessed with this house. I love it. I love the inside of it. And that's really what I love the most about Salmon Woods is that everything is so well furnished. I just, I can't even get over it. So this is what our house looks like. I'm just going to kind of show you guys from the outside. It's not the cutest thing on the outside, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, so this is what it looks on the inside. Super, super cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so perfect. I don't even have to like change it or try to furnish it or anything, which is awesome. So I am going to go ahead and actually get our dude here, Marcus, to go and look for a job because we need to do that. But we've got this here. So we don't really have any space for a computer. Can we even afford a computer? Yes, we can. I really like this kind of artist space, though, and I don't really want to mess that up. Hmm. We could put it in the basement. This is what the basement looks like, by the way. Nothing too spectacular. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to put down there. Probably like some workout equipment or something like that, but I think it's pretty cool. We're just going to go ahead and add in a computer. Um, we'll just get... Can we get this university laptop? No, I think we'll just get this. And I kind of want to make it white because I feel like that would be cool let's see what that looks like um no i like it black it's a lot better black okay anyway so we're gonna go ahead and let marcus look for a job because he needs one so we're gonna go to jobs and professions and he is going to find a profession are you guys hungry at all not really but i think clarissa could probably make us something to eat really quick because i kind of want to improve her cooking skill a little bit i love this kitchen like, I really, really love this kitchen. Let's go ahead and serve up. All right, we've got firefighter. Okay, so he will start off as a water boy. His weekly spend is 276 simoleons. He will work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And he works from Monday to Friday, which is perfect. Oh, my gosh. So we'll get weekends off. That's amazing. I'm definitely going to be doing this career. So, yeah, we're going to go for that. And the university mascot is here. Go away. Nobody cares. We're not going to university. Go away. Thank you. Okay. I really do want to go ahead and let her cook up something to eat. Just because. I mean, why not? It's 9 o'clock. They're not really hungry. But, you know, I just want to improve her cooking skill. I want her to master the cooking and the writing skill. Because I think I want her to be a writer. I'm not exactly sure, but I definitely do want her to do something at home, whether that's writing or um, writing, gardening, daycare career, whichever one. But I just don't really want to do the daycare career because everybody does that in Generations Let's Play. So it's just kind of like, ew. But I don't know. So he wants to put out a fire and learn the athletic skill. We'll definitely have to do that. But before we do that, I kind of want to adopt a pet really quick. Really, really quick why not why not why not and i'm not sure but i either want a dog or i want a horse i've never had a horse in one of my let's plays and i really really want a horse i want to like raise one though so like benny's an adult so i kind of want to raise a horse and just kind of hmm I kind of want a horse, though. What do you guys think? Do you think we should get a horse? I definitely want one. I'm going to get a horse. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get Daisy. I don't want to really name her Daisy, though. What could we name her? Um, hmm. I kind of like Sapphire. I want to name her after a gem. Like Sapphire, Ruby, or gold gold's weird i like sapphire we'll go for sapphire really like that there's a sort of thing that's like a black diamond but i don't know the name of it right isn't there there's a black diamond right and i i don't know the name um i don't know we're gonna name all of our horses after gems though because i don't know because <laughs> i'm a weirdo and i want to do it okay 
So he needs to improve his athletic skill, which we will definitely be doing. But right now, uh, Clarissa is actually just cooking up something to eat. And she's super cute. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. We need to get an area for our horse, by the way. I totally forgot. Need to get an area for our horsey. The greatest thing is that we have such a large uh, yard. So there's so much space for the horse to run around if it really wants to. Which is awesome. So... We're going to go ahead and get uh, some stuff to take care of it. I don't really know how to do any of this, but who cares? Okay, so we need one of these. I'm 100% sure we need one of these. And we also need a hitching post. I don't even think we can afford any of this. Okay. Um, we'll just get water and this hay thing so that it can at least eat and do all that stuff. And then we'll also get this dashing post to train it. I do want her to stay home because she could do like training the horses and also riding or gardening or whichever one you guys think that she should do. Leave in the comments down below. Do you think that Clarissa could do writing or do you think that she should stick with uh, gardening? Let me know. Or we could even just do the horse training, but I would like to see her do something that could really get us money. And um, yeah, so anyways. We've got a few things here. Let's just go ahead and get this ball. And then we also need to build a fence around our house because I don't want the horse escaping. So we need to get a fence because I just, I don't want the horse to leave me. Like I really, really don't. Like don't leave me, girl. Okay, put it right here and then we'll put one on this side. Okay, and then if we need a door, then can the horse go through the door? I'm pretty sure that the horse can go through the door. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So that's just going to be our fence for right now. That way the horse can't really like leave or escape or anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can still escape. Honestly, I'm an idiot. I probably should have put it around the entire perimeter, but whatever. We're just going to work with what we got. Uh, anyways, Clarissa is just kind of cooking up some waffles. And Marcus, what do you want to do? You have anything you really want to do other than improve your athletic skill? He also wants to take a class in the athletic skill, which would be awesome. I can't wait for the festival to come down because then we're going to go to the festival and have like a little date. Really, the only reason why they're staying at home is because I want to wait for the um, for our horse. I want to wait for Sapphire. So we're just going to work out for a little bit. We'll do that. Do a cardio workout. Is that Sapphire? No, this is the stupid university, dude. Go home. Can you go away? Thank you. Go home. Go away. All right, so here are our waffles that we have prepared. Neither of us are really hungry, but I'm going to go ahead and let Clarissa grab a bite to eat. And Marcus is just working out a little bit. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> oh, my God. Ah. Okay, so, anyways. Um, yeah, they're just doing that. They're so cute together. It makes me happy. They're definitely going to be my favorites. One of my favorites, because I can't, I can't pick a favorite, but they're one of my favorites, I feel like. I just love everybody. <laughs> I'm just loving of every sim that I make, but I really do like them a lot. Okay, so this is Sapphire. Oh, it looks like Sapphire is missing her mother. Time to turn on some TLC. Of course we'll have to do that. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew or not, but um, they're just boyfriend and girlfriend, so they're not married or anything just yet, but they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, this is the little van that drops off the horses? That's pretty cool. So this is what Sapphire looks like. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, so yeah, this is what Sapphire looks like. She's so cute. And the caretaker is actually coming over here to talk to us. And uh, we're just going to lead Sapphire and help her out a little bit. Because we really need to take her, take good care of her. And we really don't need her escaping. I wish we had some extra money because I would definitely be putting a fence around. Let's try. We can at least try. It never hurts to try. Nope, we don't have enough money. Crap. Okay. Maybe if we get rid of this. Because I don't even think that she can really work on this yet because she is a foul. So, I don't even think that's how you pronounce it. Foul, 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 foul. I don't know. Um, we'll go ahead and sell the computer, maybe? And then maybe we'll have enough money. I don't know. This house is big, so it's going to be hard to furnish the entire thing. Yeah, see? See, look at that. We don't have enough money. Dang. <clears throat> okay. 
I'm sorry, you guys. My throat sounds so odd. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Marcus is really excited about Sapphire. He's like, yes, boo. We got ourselves a horse. Aw. She's not dealing good with Clarissa. Let's go ahead and give her some affection. We will brush her and we'll let her sl sniff our hand and hopefully she'll get used to the fact of being around us because I really would like Clarissa to be able to raise our little girl here. But we'll see. Okay, so what can Marcus do? Marcus, what can you do? What can you do for the day? I don't even know, baby. You could eat these waffles, but he's not really hungry, so I'm not going to make him eat if he's not hungry. Um, what could we do, though? What could we do? What is there to do in this town? There's so much to do in this town, actually. If you want me to be 100% real with you, we could go to the Technobala, which is actually a dance club, but they're not open. So, and there's no festival in town either. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to the arcade. By the way, if you guys hear any cutouts or anything like that, like throughout this video, there's going to be a lot of editing just because of the fact that, um, yeah, my throat and the fact that I'm going to be coughing and wheezing like a crazy person. So, yeah, Marcus is going to the arcade. Chris is going to stay home for a little bit and play with their horse, and then she's going to follow him and go to the arcade too. But I really don't want to leave the horse by itself. I kind of want it to be able to trust us. And right now, it doesn't look like it's trusting us very much. So, um, let's go ahead and scold for, no, praise for being obedient. And then we are going to go follow our bay to the arcade. Because I kind of want to go there and chill for a little bit. Maybe for the rest of this part. Because there's nothing really spectacular going on just because of the fact that I feel like crap. So, you know, nothing too spectacular. But... This is what the arcade looks like. Another reason why I love this freaking town. Like, everything is just so perfectly decorated and so perfectly made, and I'm just in love with it. So, we're going to go ahead and buy a drink, and we will get some herbal tea, and we will have a peppermint tea. That's what I need right now. Some good old-fashioned tea, but we don't have any because my life sucks. Okay, buy a drink, herbal tea. Um, peppermint. Why can't we buy our tea? Let us buy our tea. But you saying we too masculine to get some tea up in here? Like, what's going on? No, I'm just kidding. This girl has some ugly pigtails. I'm not living for that. Cloris is in the back, like, making sure her man is not trying to, trying to get his flirt on. <laughs> She's over there like, mm-hmm, I see you. Okay, is the girl just gonna walk away? She not gonna serve Clarissa? All right, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and let Clarissa grab a quick um, prize over here. Marcus is drinking his tea, so I'm going to let him do that. And let's see if we can get anything from here. That'd be pretty awesome if we could get a prize. Because if we could get a nice enough prize, we might be able to sell it. So she also wants to go to the bookstore. Hmm. We could definitely get her into reading, especially if we want her to do writing and stuff. She could definitely be a big reader. Try again, girl. You'll grab something eventually. I try. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. And we got this ugly sheep looking thing. Is that a sheep? The hell is that? I don't even know. That looks weird. Okay, it's a toy yeti. Right. That's only worth two simoleons though, so... Ah, uh, not really that great, but whatever. Um, she wants to buy an arcade claw machine. We're not going to do that, girl. You're getting a little bit too ahead of yourself. We could bowl for a little bit, but I kind of want to challenge Marcus to hoops for a little bit. Let's see if we can do that. We definitely need to meet some friends, though, like in the next part. We need to try and find somebody in the town. But right now, we're just getting used to things, and I'm not really into, like, talking too much because... You know, anyways, we're just going to play basketball. See how they're doing. Come on, y'all. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. I have a feeling Marcus is going to kill her. <laughs> He's going to kill it. Come on. Yep. She's doing really bad. Oh, this is how me and my boyfriend play basketball. The little arcade hoops. Either I win or he wins, but he always gets super mad when I win. So he's like, oh, let's play again. Nah, -uh. 
No, uh, uh, uh. I won, so we ain't playing again, okay? Uh, let me take my victory. Oh, Clarissa is catching up, though. One more shot and she would win. Oh, they got tied. Oh, that sucks. Boo. Tying is stupid. Why can't we? Oh, whatever. Okay. Anyways, let's see if there is anything else that they can do. Let's come over here and play Smack a Gnome. He's going to come and play with her, too. Come on, y'all. Y'all are cute. They're a really cute couple. Is that really? You both hit yourselves in the face. Really? Get on my level. Like, seriously. <laughs> Get on my level. Come on. All right, let's see who gets the highest score. I am still rooting for Marcus. Let me know who you guys are rooting for. I'll put a poll somewhere at this specific part. Who do you think is going to win this game? Oh, ho, ho. I'm trying to put more polls on my videos because I'm a loser. And I just feel like you guys need to be, you know, more involved. So I like to put on polls. That's my new New Year's resolution is getting you guys more involved in my channel and stuff like that. So hopefully I will follow it out um my friend just texted me leave me alone okay anyways let's see they are continuing to play i don't really know if that's specifically going to be the poll but there will be a poll so make sure that you guys do vote on the poll just so i can kind of get you your opinions and everything like that uh how did sierra how did clarissa do i keep calling her sierra how did clarissa do Three thousand. and what did you get marcus 6,000. Okay, Marcus kicked your booty. All right, well, we kind of should have expected that. Okay, and let's go over here and play some table tennis. Maybe they're a very competitive couple. I feel like they're always going to try to outdo each other, which could be bad and good at the same time. It's just, you know, you're always trying to do better than your counterpart, which, you know, see who let's let's see who makes the most money let's see who you know beats they're just very competitive people and i love it okay put the walls up here i bet one is gonna hit her in the face come on clarissa kick his left booty all the girls are probably like yes clarissa woman power <laughs> that's how i'm feeling right now you better kick his butt, Clarissa. You better do it, because I'm not playing no games with you, Clarissa, right now. I'm really not. And then this girl over here is creeping. Can you go somewhere, please? Thank you. Da, 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 Dana? Danya. Danya. Dana. Her name is definitely Dana. Her name is definitely Dana. My gosh, I cannot talk today. Okay. Come on. Y'all are going to be roasting me in the comments about my voice. I bet y'all 10 bucks because y'all be a little bit mean sometimes. I love it, though. It's funny. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah. She's kicking butt. They're getting better, which is good. Um, yeah, definitely the next part we really need to focus on meeting friends and getting to know some people because I feel like we are not going to be able to have any type of wedding or anything unless we know people. And I kind of want them to just enjoy dating for right now because I feel like there's going to be a lot of episodes of this series. So they have a lot of time to get married and to enjoy being a couple and stuff like that. So right now they're just in the dating fun part of their relationship. So they've been dating for a while and, I, you know, you know, you know, dated in college and now they're still together. So we're going to go ahead and uh, be friendly and we are going to give him a hug after we finish. Who's going to win? Let's speed on through because no one cares about all this. Oh, my God. Clarissa won. Did you see her little dance? <laughs> she was like, yes, I to work my booty. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Let's be romantic and give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Okay, you guys. I think that I am going to go ahead and why is his lip like all over her right now? Anyways, all right, you guys, I think I am going to go ahead and end this part right on here because my voice is strained, but I hope you all enjoyed episode number one or part one of the Sims 3 Generations. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like the series or not, and 
Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to do this series twice a week or just once a week. I, I, I don't know. I'm doing all my other series as once a week, so I have no clue. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff down below. And I will catch you all in my very next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.